Hi, good morning and welcome to our meditation. Today is the 17th of December. I would like to read in Proverbs chapter 16, verse 23. The hearts of the wise make their mouths prudent and the lips promote instruction. How can we promote instruction? How can our lips become a blessing to us and to others? Proverbs chapter 15, verse 4 says, The soothing tongue is a tree of life but a perverse tongue crushes the spirit. If you want to be blessed, you bless. When you sing to the Lord, you, your heart will be blessed as well. The, the words that come out of your, your mouth will become a tree of life, will give life, will banish death. But the, the, the contrary, it's a tongue that crushes the spirit that destroys the spirit. David in the Psalms 30 verses 11 and 12 says, You turned my wailing into dancing. You removed my sackcloth and clothed me with joy, that my heart may sing your praises and not be silent. Lord my God, I will praise you forever. God has done a work in our hearts. He has transformed our hearts. We were, we were lamenting, we were crying. He says here, we are wailing, but God has turned that into dancing. He has removed our sackcloth and has clothed us with joy. And then our hearts will sing. We cannot sing if God doesn't work in our lives. If he doesn't change our lives, we cannot sing for joy. How can you sing God's praises with a broken heart? I mean, with a heart that is not broken before the Lord, with a heart that is like a stone. We need to be changed by God to do so. And David in the Psalm 108 verse 1 says, My heart, O God, is steadfast. We are firm. We are standing on the rock. So he says, I will sing and make music with all my soul. I have done lots of uh, uh, training here to, to, to be a singer, to sing. And uh, one of the things that we learn is that we need to be steadfast in, our, in order to sing. In order to sing. If we are not steadfast, if we are trembling, we cannot sing. What we call the column of air has to be in the right place. Our body has to be steadfast. If you are shaking like that, as we say in French, if you lose your legs, you cannot sing. So David never took any singing course, but he, he understood one thing. If we are not on the rock, uh, if our feet are not steadfast, if our heart is not steadfast, we cannot sing. That's what he says in Psalm 40, that God took us out of the mud and put our feet on the rock. And then he gave us a new song and we can sing. Very interesting to realize that David understood that. If you are shaking, you cannot sing. So God is going to put your feet on the rock. Let the message of Christ dwell among you richly as you teach and admonish one another with all wisdom through psalms, hymns and songs from the Spirit, singing to God with gratitude in your heart. How can you sing with gratitude in your heart? Gratitude in your heart? How can you teach and admonish one another, each other? Only if the message of Christ, if the gospel of Christ, if the word of Christ is dwelling in you. It's like having your feet on the rock. And then we can, as we go back to Proverbs chapter 16, verse 23, the hearts of the wise make their mouths prudent. They're going to speak like Jesus. Why? Because their feet are on the rock. Their feet and the, under their heart. Hearts are steadfast. God bless you.